So I'm going to do a couple of double walled pieces. One of them will be not so much a double wall, but a donut. People have probably seen these. They're hollow throne forms that look like donuts. Um, they end up, the, the final uses of them end up being kind of cliche. The, the donut teapot and the donut vase and stuff, which you know, aren't that exciting to me, but I'm sure other people can use this technique to come up with, with better ideas. Starts by flattening it out, kind of like making a plate. You're gonna go all the way down to the wheel head, and you're gonna open it up. You're gonna pull it out, so you're about an inch and a half, two inches thick in the wall. And you're gonna raise the wall, kind of like you're coning up, and then push it back down like you're coning down. This will center it. Hopefully. After it's kind of in the middle, you're going to open it up by flattening the top off, pressing down in the middle until you get the same distance from the bottom as you would if you're making a pot. Then you're going to pull the inside wall up, press the rim. Pull the outside wall up, compress the rim. I'm going to cut the skirt off the inside and the outside. And I'm going to press the outside wall out and the inside wall in. So they start to make that donut shape. The hard part is to get them to connect, make a good joint without opening up as you compress it. I found the best way to do that is to bring them together. It takes a few spins for it to go around because you're only pushing in one spot. So you can separate on both sides. Push them in. Dry off this edge so that there's no slip in between wet it and push them together so they stick. Now you don't want to push them together flat, you want to kind of push them together so that there's a ridge that you can squeeze together in between your fingers. And then you're going to remove that with your flexible metal rib of death, kind of by scraping it. Then I'm going to round it off. So I'm going to press on the outside, going all the way around it, and making my donut shape. Now you don't use it right away, you're going to let it dry some, flip it over and trim it to be perfectly round. This is the start. 